hello yeah welcome to Donval fx yeah, in this video i want to show you how to store the python indicator or any custom indicator at all whether the python or any custom indicator at all so how do you do that number one is that when you receive the indicator whether from your your telegram from whatsapp from email where whichever place you received it the first approach is to download it so if you look here this is a telegram you understand sometimes i send the indicator to you on telegram sometimes i send on whatsapp sometimes i send them on um, uh, anywhere email address so the first approach is to download it if you look here if you look at this icon you see python indicator i have downloaded them and i have put in them here you see i have put in them what here though it has not complete let me put the remaining so look at them here I can see the icon saved with what Python indicator, right? So what do I do? What is the next step? The next step is to right click on your laptop and copy it. Copy the folder. Copy the folder. Do you see? I've just copied it by right clicking and clicking copy. If I right click now, let me right click again. So you see, copy down there. I copied it. So as I have copied it, what's next? The next is to open my MT5 charts. So you open your what? MT5 charts. It has opened though you know i have it already i just want to show you the process so as i have um uh, 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 opened the mt5 what is the next so when you open your mt5 on the pc if you look by the side of it you see file you see file here look at my icon icon you see file here you click on that file remember you have copied it so when you click on file you come down you move down move down you come to what open data folder you see open data folder i see it you double click it will open okay so when it's open so i repeat i said when you open your chart you go to what file you see file at the top left of your system you click on file from file to open data folder from a uh, sheet i'm just I, I i executed so when you click on open data folder remember each of them is double click from file to open data folder when you open data folder, you see this. It will pop up this. You see MQL5. You see MQL5. You double click. You see indicators. So you click on indicators. So look at the various indicators I have on my system. Save with the different folders. Let me maximize this. So these are different indicators I have on this system. Many of them. There are many here. You understand? Doing different functions. All these things are what? custom indicators though i don't use one of them yes because i've bought many of them over time and i keep loading so how do you do the moment you come here now what do you do you right click on empty space you see i maximize before now this thing was uh, on a minimizing form this is how it looked like so what do i do is either you just come to empty space like this and right click when you right click on empty space you see paste you just paste to that one you see it python indicator it has appeared here you see it here so what do you do next remember if i open this folder because there are so many indicators i put in this folder if i open it you see the available indicators the available indicator that make up the python look at them so let's go back so what do you do after pasting it after pasting it you close down everything close down this window close down this one close down the mt5 close down everything you are seeing then right click oh it has not closed right click on your screen if i right click on my screen now you see refresh you refresh your window you right click again up to three times refresh right click again refresh then open up open that your uh, mt5 again so when you open it up again so what do you do if you open it up what do you do you go to navigator you go to what navigator some of you don't have a uh, your you see navigator by the side you see navigator in case you come here and you didn't see navigator how do you locate it you go to view beside file up there you see viewer you click on view come down and click what navigator it will appear but already my own uh, is already there navigator is a place where you see indicators where all the indicators both custom and don't customize and the robot whatever everything there on navigator so i scroll down to find python indicator because that is the title so let us look for it as I'm scrolling. And uh, let me look for it. Python, Python, Python. So this one is AA. 
so we will look for it we will look for it you keep scrolling you see i've just scrolled and i've seen it look at it here look at the python indicator can you see it python so what do you do next because the whole indicator is inside it you just double click it so when you double click it you see all those various indicators you see this one you see this one you see this one it will open up the indicators that is available on it so on that note how do you now put it here each one you double click if you double click but i have i have them already but if you want to now put it in your this thing if you just double click one two you see it will pop up this kind of thing you do allow you see allow here this small box you tick it and click ok you click ok it will appear on your chart but already i have them you see i have them already so how then does it function that is the installation process is what i have shown you and i said again let me repeat the process i said you go back to your uh, screen you copy the indicator from the folder you saved it or you downloaded it from right click and the word copy okay you know i have copied it before that's why it doesn't bring copy you now open up your what mt5 some of you would like to ask again ask again you now open up your mt5 when you open up your mt5 so what do you do next you come here you come up there uh, file so when you come up to file what do you do next so when you come up to file what do you do next you click on what uh, open data folder so from open data folder and let me click it well from open data folder to mql5 from mql5 to indicators from indicators you paste it when you paste it it will come here it's already there then you now go back to close every window i'm just repeating the process so that you get it well close every window then refresh your screen so when you refresh your screen then you do what you go back and open your mt5 again so when you open your mt5 again you will now go to navigator to search for Python indicator. Search for the name you used to save that folder. If you search for it, it will come out. Then you now save it and then start loading them by double clicking each of them. They will appear on your screen. So here is the Python word indicator. So here is the Python indicator. And um, how do you use it? I've said that. How do you use it? You see, we have this thing, this double line. We call it Koao. We have it on the pink, we have it on the blue, is this blue? So we have this double line, we call it a band. This double line, one, two, is a band. We also have this red arrows, blue and red. So in the case of boom, you see, currently this is the boom market and it's telling us, you see, it's producing this um, blue. It's telling us that another spike is coming. There was a spike here and this blue came out before that uh, spike, of course. Now they have started selling and it's telling us again, there may be a spike along the line because it's on the spiking zone. If you look here, you see there is an engulfment here, engulfing, bullish engulfing, telling us that there is a momentum, high momentum from the buyers. Though the spike has gotten closer to the upper band and has produced this red. So how do you sell? If you want to sell on a boom, if you want to sell, if you want to trade the trend, how do you trade the trend? So always wait for a price to shoot out of this band you see this band you see the band the upper band and the lower band line so allow the price to shoot out you see this one shoot out very very well and produce this red arrow the moment it produces this red arrow is an indication that that price must also get down to the uh, lower band each time it gets to upper band and produce the arrow or shoot out of the upper band and produce the red arrow the implication is that the price will return back to the upper band at least you see, like this one, you see, it get to the upper band and produce red. So what happened? It returned back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, look at the spike have just happened. Let me return back to one minute. I told you, I told you that um, the moment the team show, look at the spike, the, the signal have just entered. The spike, I told you. You see here now, because of that presence of that thing I showed you, that's why, that's how we just catch the spike. You see the very massive spike. You see, it's because of the presence of that blue that just come out, that just came out. That blue is a spike detector that follows the stuff. That's how we just catch up. That's how we do the magic. So the moment we see this thing, we go in, especially when markets are shoot out and we're returning. Then we go in for buy. 
So I, I was saying again, this is one minute. The special, I, I use five minutes or 15 minutes to trade this. You can use it on one minute where you can see the fast reaction of the price. So how do you use it in one minute? You see this band, you see the upper and lower band. Anytime price touch, you see this spike, bam, it gets to the upper band and to some extent it produces this red arrow. That is the indication is that the price must get back to lower band before it could produce spike and the moment the price is coming back to upper band and you see this blue one coming or showcasing because that blue one was show before any emergency stuff so if it get to that lower band and produce the blue one that means the spike won't occur you move out so anytime the price got if you want to scalp anytime price go up or above the upper band and produce this red you can come in for sale and follow the price one candle away from the lower band or you hold on to you see this blue uh, blue something that is showing that there will be a spike you move out or you can just trade anytime you go above produce red you follow it by reaching to upper band the lower band i mean for sale you go out so how do you catch spike the moment price shoot out from the upper band and come down maybe getting near to the lower band and produce the blue arrow you come in for spike or Sometimes it will get close to that and not pro didn't produce any new arrow. Don't enter without seeing that new arrow. If the new arrow occurs, like this one, you see this one just gets there and spike. This one, after the touching of the lower band, you see the new arrow. It is spikes. You see this one. So that new arrow must occur. But make sure it's within the lower band side or below the lower band side. That's where you have sure. So this pink something, this double line, this thing, you see this thing? Is telling us reversal. So what happened here is total reversal of this market. So when this price shoot out and produce this pink, this pink double line, so it's telling us that the price have reversed downtrend. So you can now go in for sell. So when it get to some extent, cross lower band and produce one, it's telling us that the price have reversed uptrend. That's why you see all this massive, massive, massive spike. And it's good you trade along the trend. You see this one. This one quick came here and produce band. You see spike, 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 spike up. So you can follow that spike trend. To some extent and you make your money you see this one gave us downtrend reversal you see how the price move far even when this one come far until this one came that's where the price now reversed with a high momentum you see the massive spike fume 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 so that's how we just make the magic so order your own now at 50 dollars or 25 thousand for nigerians and you make your profit or otherwise you join our a premium group we are sometimes but i uh, it's more better you get it because it's not every time i drop signals there though i'm not a a, a day signal provider any signal i send in the group is out of my own magnanimity so my duty is to provide tools and coach you up on how to do it yourself thank you very much this is donval in case if you want to fund or if you want to withdraw you place order with the donval fx you join my payment group and make more money thank you very much next row together congratulations and happy new month we shall celebrate all together. Thank you.